welcome to ATV News. I'm Shalama Lawson. Coming up on the program, we find out what Zimbabweans think of the recent wedding of Prime Minister Morgan Changurai. The dumping and burning of garbage in Bulawayo reaches dangerous levels. Groups of young people are coming up with new ways to battle unemployment. Zimbabwe's women rugby squad prepares for the upcoming World Cup. And Liam will be here with the weekly look ahead to the English Premier League fixtures. Zimbabwe has been abuzz with talk of Prime Minister Morgan Changirai's wedding to Elizabeth Macheka, an event that was marred by legal battles with other women. Muchaneta Chimuga heard the public reaction. Wanano ya Prime Minister Morgan Changirai ni mzimai wa Elizabeth Macheka, yu ya kaiti kanumsuwa 15 mwezi unu, ya kasi ya wanu wa jinji wa ini fungwa za kasi ya na. ATV ya kaita urukure ni wangwe wa tenderi, waka pao fungwa za avu umu. Chincha kino zi wajinu taura shukura mwari. Shukura mwari nui misa msuri kukuti murumbi mwe cheti. Harifana kuwa ni mkazi mwe cheti. Kandika, saka mazu wanu zi jinji, wa jinji waruku maji za rane mwari, waruku wakona pa ino wanikwa, wanika wachi maanya ya papa papa. Wajda kutu wanga iwane sayi, saka, tisi nga zuzi zile kutika na chitasa kutiki mamira zuru kitaya, kutichinzi kumunu mweche tana nga chita mazimaya kawanda, nige chuchimporewe. Zimba shiji, takata kwa meri jisa anahasa wala kutika mzimba, vano wa usupi na mzimba, nishina nga chukutiva wa shengete zemori, kata nga 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 chukutiva wa bate imba, kata tuwa wa wake mwere yao, asi vano wa shiji wa rupi nga mzimba, nge kutarisa kwa kutiki munu uteja. Thank <laughs> Ayo murume, ano nata murume. Ayo kwa nsa kutora kazi yesi ya wita waki. Muchato wacho ngirai wakabudirira mshure memaka kata anuwa ni mangwe mazimai aiti aive murudonai. Ayo aipiki sana nao, nyaya ii kazugume yawe kumatarezi mosha. Mazimai aya lokati ya karima tenga, nechimwe chizaru wa cheku South Africa, nozi poreji na shilowani. Awo vahi tiva ingevari murudo na changirai, vakaru wa undo urine wana no ii. Shakadai mchatu wa changirai na macheka, wakaitu kwa pachivanu pasina kushandis kwa kwe magwaru e mchatu we mtemu, unotewe za tika ze chirungu. Vangwe vanu vaka fara chaizo ni mchatu uyu, asa vangwe vaka nyumuta wa chiti waka kanganisa chiremira cha Prime Minister changirai. Dini mtoruwe na we ATV ndiri muarari. Zimbabwe. The dumping and burning of garbage in the city center of Bulawayo is now reaching worrying levels with fears that pollution may cause respiratory related illnesses among people exposed to it. Crispin Tavura gives us more. Some residents in Bulawayo are still dumping and burning refuse recklessly in the city center despite calls from the environmental and public health experts for people to desist from doing so. ATV caught up with defiant vendors who were throwing and burning refuse at a shopping mall along Lobengula Street. Even council workers are also dumping and burning refuse at the Lo Bengula Street Mall. Another vendor whose business space was affected by a cloud of smoke from the burning refuse, was captured extinguishing the flame with a bucket of water. We 
Bulawayo city shoppers are blaming the council for all the garbage woes facing the city. In a telephone interview, the mayor of Blawayo, Tabamu, said the council will take action against perpetrators soon. Reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Youths in Bulawayo have embarked on self-help initiatives in an attempt to beat the unemployment woes facing the country. Eunice Ferezai met with the young people for ATV. Young people in Bulawayo are taking practical steps to empower themselves by venturing into some craft and shoemaking projects at the famous city hall. The youth are engaged in various works such as making beads, artworks and shoemaking. The ATV crew recently toured the city hall and spoke to the youths who are now earning a living from venting their wares. We actually specialize in uh, making uh, beadwork uh, from a uh, necklaces with different forms of pendants if you ask for anything maybe flags or maybe inscribing names on them we, are, we specialize in that from hand jewelry to necklaces uh, then we even do earrings using beadwork uh, i make motorbikes out of wire and a couple of beads and some plastics I make shoes, I buy, I buy leather from Pelmo and the wrappers from industry and I mix a wrapper and the leather to make shoes. Yes, I'm a stone. Stone, how much is it now? I think I'm a swing. I think I'm five dollars. Then I'm saying I think it's ten dollars. What I want to think I'm a king. I'm a king, I want to be a king. The gifted and talented artists are proud of their products and say they can just turn anything into reality. We make uh, designs of uh, animals, anything flowery, anything artistic as per se. If anyone comes, our mission and aim is to make something creative and uh, we actually make something, we turn actually your imagination into reality. The main buyers of their ways are foreign tourists and a few locals who are interested in their works. Foreigners buy our stuff, a couple of locals do also buy our stuff, people with people outside the country do come and buy our stuff. I'm a Kyukubu, but I'm a Kyukubu, but I'm a Kyukubu. The artists also recreate old art forms to produce new magnificent pieces of art. The other area, there's uh, like some old art forms that we actually make which are made from uh, macrame. Macrame, and uh, that's like a French term, but uh, actually I actually grew up doing that. But uh, it's, uh, it's whereby you use string to knit things all together, and you come up with jewelry, handbags, and all kinds of things. There is no doubt that such projects will help to ease unemployment rules for many people in the city of Kings. Reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. The National Women's Rugby Squad is gearing up for the forthcoming World Cup tournament to be held in Morocco at the end of the month. Robert Tafumane visited the team during their preparations. The Zimbabwe women's rugby team is in camp preparing for the 7th World Cup qualifiers set for September 29 in Morocco. ATV caught up with the squad on Sunday at Old Harare Sports Club where they were training. Um, we've really gone very far because we started training in May and it's now almost um, towards um, our trip to Morocco this month end. So now we are just ma uh, making sure we're doing the final touches and polishing up on all the plays. She said the players were putting maximum effort so that they'll be part of the traveling contingent. The response has been very, very positive. Um, as you can see, players have come out in their numbers and 
to date everybody has been showing up for training with the exception maybe of one or two where she's still in um, Wange so she'll join us uh, this week. Lucia also talked about the new blood in the team and hoped that they will play well once selected. Um, there's new blood that's uh, coming into the team and yes most of them are um, still in their teens like 18, 19 so they are going to add some speed to the side. She told ATV that the fans should expect more from these rugby women. Well, they should expect some fun, uh, great rugby played by brilliant and extraordinary women. The team will be trimmed to the required 12 players who represent the country at the World Cup qualifiers. Before the tournament, they will take part in the Middlesbrough Sevens tournament in South Africa on September 21 as part of their preparations. Some of the players in the squad include Rumbizai Chabeta, Yobimbo Musere, Charity Mkukuti, Ashley Chambira, Sibongi Lempofu, Simbisai Kajige, Mamlin Mangota, Rachel Tembo, Nobuche Nyamandi, Abigail Gondo, Precious Pazani, Lillian Mapia, Margaret Maguaro, and Octavia Munamo. Reporting for ATV, Robert Afmani, Arare, Zimbabwe. And finally, it's a big weekend in the English Premier League with some crucial fixtures. Here to tell us more is ATV's football specialist, Liam Thorpe. Thank you, Shalimar. As you say, we've got another exciting weekend of English Premier League football with two heavyweight clashes to look forward to on Sunday. We'll start with Chelsea who currently sit at the top of the league. They welcome a stubborn Stoke City side to Stamford Bridge. The Potters got a very good draw with Man City last week, but they can struggle away from home, so I expect Chelsea to win this one. The key man could well be the new signing Oscar after his stunning performance against Juventus in the Champions League on Wednesday. Newcastle United face Norwich City at the Sports Direct Arena. Neither side have had the most impressive of starts to the league, but I think Newcastle will have too much firepower for Norwich with the likes of Hatem Bonafa and Papi Cisse. The key man could be Magpie striker Demba Barr, who is unhappy with his manager after being benched last week. It will be interesting to see how he reacts. Now, on Sunday, it's the big doubleheader. Two matches featuring four top sides. Manchester City entertain Arsenal at the Emirates, while United travel to the old enemy Liverpool. City had a disappointing night in Madrid on Tuesday and again looked vulnerable at the back. Arsenal hit Southampton for six last week so should be full of confidence, but City's forward line is the most dangerous in the league. I'm going to plump for a 2 all draw on this one. The key man on Sunday could be Sergio Aguero. The Argentine striker has been injured since the first day of the season, but should return on Sunday and is a major threat up front. This week's Game of the Week simply has to be Liverpool versus Manchester United. This clash, featuring the two most successful sides in English football, is always a fiercely competitive affair. Liverpool are still without a win in the league, but they will raise their game against the United side that still look dodgy in defence. I think a hard-fought 2 all draw could be the result. The key man? Well, it's going to have to be Liverpool captain Steven Gerrard. On an important day for his club, he should rise to the occasion. Now, we've been asking for your predictions for this game on our ATV Facebook page. Kenneth Kawanza says that Man United will obviously win it. Leo Zami disagrees and is going for a Liverpool win. Sunday Inyang is sitting on the fence, like me, and saying it's going to be a draw. One thing is for sure, it's going to be a very exciting weekend of English Premier League action. Thank you for joining us. Have a good weekend.